G'day everyone. Let me give you a look at all the handle figures that I've got so far. Start over here of number one. Cassian and or Aldani Mission. That's a nice figure, that one. They're all pretty nice. Pure Officer, Dark Times. Number two. Shore Trooper. Number three. Didn't see a lot of time in the show, but uh, yeah, it was pretty good scenes. Imperial Officer, Barracks. Barracks is a place. And Bix, Bix Colleen. I still don't know what that thing is. I've watched the show twice. I didn't see it once. <laughs> Within Rail. Yeah, he's an important character in the show. Pity he didn't come with a soft goods robe. Probably the same should be said for that guy. Out of plastic. <sighs> Senator Mon Monta. Number seven, number six, number five, four. And then I got two number eights. I don't know how that happened. Val Sarpa and the man himself, Cassian Andor. Yeah, Val's a pretty important character. I wish the figure had been a little better for some reason. I imagine we'll probably see another variant of her come out too, because she's got like two personalities or two personas on the show. The rough and rugged and then the really sleek and uh, posh sort of version of her. I hope we do see a few more variants or new figures completely on the show. I think we've probably seen all that we're going to see. I don't think we'll see a season two. I think we've probably seen the last of the Mandalorian too. I don't know. Just about to the end of the Bad Batch. Now let me put this on the other stand and uh, give me a close look at a few things. I put all the boxes backwards because um, some of them have clear windows and some don't. I think there's only a few that don't uh, have the picture on the front. All right. Let me turn a few of these around, well, all of them around. Mm, yeah, I definitely prefer the clear window. 
as you can put them back in the box but these ones there's just no point to put them back in the box you just might as well throw the box away I was thinking about throwing all these boxes away actually because you know we're all struggling for space but uh, yeah when I started to do this video especially when they all turned around it just looked too good it's like I gotta keep them Let's look at the figures there. Got a holster, it's nice. No removable cap. And, um, yeah, it's pretty nice. It's sort of, um, there's a Din Djarin and a Migs Mayfield, very similar. But uh, this one seems to be made a little bit nicer for some reason. I like it. Sure, life is so dark times. Pretty cool. Nice figure. The Shaw Trooper. Yes, where's his buddy? There's the carbonized version. Carbonized one doesn't have the uh, holster. It's not much of a holster this one, but it works. It's like the wood grain finish. Or the sort of gold finish. Hmm. I like them all. I need a white one. <laughs> but no, I think I do like that one the most. Even though it doesn't have a holster. off this guy. So, pretty good movement and uh, it's not loose or anything, it's, it's nice. Movement, double jointed knees. Another good figure. Bix. I so much enjoyed uh, watching it the second time. So I hadn't really noticed it that much when I first watched it, but uh, yeah, I watched it very closely the second time I watched it, and yeah, she's a great character. But uh, yeah, I wish <laughs> I knew what this thing was. Yeah, come on, where, where's the weapon? So yeah, that's where we started with the pictures on the front of the box at that point. We got those four and then they moved on to these. So Luthen. 
Yes. Good character. Uh, well acted. It was quite a role to play, wasn't it? There's a couple of personalities in there. So yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a, another version of him. How's the sleeves? <laughs> Huge. And Mon. since Revenge of the Sith. So yeah, it's a, it's um pretty nice really. Again with the huge uh sleeves. But uh yeah disappointing she didn't come with any accessory. Uh you give her a medal or something, you know, like something to hold. Yeah, that's what I was most disappointed about with that one. Well, cool character, tough, but yeah, you got another side to it, doesn't she? The old hair smoothed down looks completely different. But yeah, I hope we uh, get another version of her for sure. So yeah, this one. Uh, could have been better. Same with the vintage collection one. But uh yeah, it's okay. Interesting weapon. And the man, Cassian. Yeah, this is probably my favourite of all of them. Mm, but once again, this plastic, I, I wish it had been better. Soft goods or something. It doesn't have a holster. Jacket's removable. But it's a good likeness and, uh, you know, it's pretty well articulated. It'll suit just about any scene I want him to be in. So yeah, it's pretty good. That's a pretty nice range. But yeah, it's probably unfortunate not enough people have seen Andor. Being as you sort of have to pay to watch it. It's not on free to air TV. Sure, you can watch it somewhere on the internet, but um, yeah, it's just not mainstream really. This show, a quick look, I'll finish up the video. to get him next to Miggs and uh, Din Djarin in the same sort of gear.
trying to get some of the size shot on all these boxes. Let's just fix that out. Nice range. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this look. It's uh, my Black Series and all stuff. What's next? Yeah, hopefully there's some more. Until my next Star Wars collection video, may the force be with you.